In this question, we're given a continuous time signal. We're told that it's sampled, and we're asked about the discrete time signal. And in particular, we're asked about the ninth sample, yf8. We're asked for that value. So remember, when going from continuous time to discrete time, all we need to do is replace t with n times uppercase t, the sample period. We can get uppercase t simply by inverting the sampling rate. So t is 1 over 200. So we can write y of n as simply 10 e to the minus 2 n times 1 over 200. So I'm replacing t with n uppercase t and then cosine 10 times n times 1 over 200. So that, that's my um, discrete time representation. And they're asking for y of 8, so when n equals 8. So all I need to do is replace n here and here and here with the value 8. So I can rewrite by putting an 8 here, an 8 here, and an 8 here. If you put that in your calculator, you get 9.29. But make sure that your calculator is in radians, because otherwise the cosine term will be incorrect. So remember, whenever you have a trigonometric identity, your calculator needs to be in radians. So um, depending on the number of decimal places required in the question, that would be your final answer.